Osio Halito. This is part three to the winter solstice reading. I am coming from the Orisha tarot deck. Right, this setup is called the Crux Asante. This is the crux, the cross, where the sun is in the middle. Okay, it is the Asante Crux. All right, that is the layout. It is the winter solstice. We have the Black Madonna and the Christ. Okay. We have the Sun Falcon. Represents the sun and the sun, the sun and the moon. Okay. Or the sun and the stars. That constellation the crux, the southern crux that is in the cosmos, the heavens. Okay, so I'm going to begin the reading. Okay, the first card is the water element. This represents the beginning. Okay, the water element. Um, like when a child is in the womb, it is in the embryonic sac, okay? And so there are waters, life-giving waters in the womb, the womb of the cosmos. The Black Madonna represents the womb of the cosmos, where we all were birthed forth from the womb of the great mother, the goddess energy. Okay, you have goddess energy and God energy. And together that is whole, okay? So the water element, okay? You have to take into account the water signs, okay? All of the water signs. So, the water represents the womb of the universe, purifying time, purifying time during the winter solstice when we are to go within and do meditation and deal with ourself. Look at the man or the womb man in the mirror. And so it is like we are entering the cosmic womb with the life giving waters. Okay. This water element represents creativity because something is created in the womb. Intuition and psychic ability, okay? Sensitivity, okay? So this is a spiritual element, okay? Psychic ability, spiritual ability, sensitivity, intuition, creativity this is purification okay this is where we start okay during our meditation during this time okay so that is the water element card okay the second card is Four of fire the four of fire and you see this is a family okay this is the family element all right this is a union of the family okay a divine partnership that is in this union of this family okay so this is the four of fire Okay, now the Four of Fire represents strength in union, strength in the family, 
strength in the community as a whole. That is where our strength lies in the family unit. Our strength lies in the family unit, okay? Divine partnership union, okay? This is for us to reflect and be thankful for our families, our divine partnerships, okay? This also includes, um, of course, divine great spirit, our ancestors, guides, families, and friends, our community. We are thankful to have them because they promote guidance, protection. We can get advice, we can get help, we can get support from our family, our community. Okay, of course, our mate. This is why I said it's a divine partnership, a divine union. Okay? This is, um, this deals with social community. Uh, this brings happiness, prosperity, joy, and peace. Okay? This is the union. Okay? The family card. Okay, this is our family, our spiritual family, and our physical family. This helps our mental state of being. Okay, so the third card. All right, this is Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth. Now you see how he is he is building something, creating something, okay? This card represents building and inventing things. This goes with the creativity of this card, okay? So this is about building and inventing, okay? We are to use our potential. We are to continuously learn and create new systems, new systems in uh, science, arts, alchemy, uh, these things to benefit our community as well as ourselves and our family, okay? We are creating, building, inventing things, okay? Um, whether it's in the spiritual realm, the mental, and it's gonna be manifested in the physical, okay? And while we're doing this, while we're building and inventing, we have to be prudent by storing up things, like using our resources wisely, okay? Storing up food uh, for times of scarcity, okay? Because you know, uh, like when a young inventor is creating and inventing things, sometimes uh, if that person is only relying on that and maybe has a part-time job or does little odd jobs to you know save money put some things up while you're building inventing and creating okay so we are the builders we are the inventors we are the creators just like divine great spirit okay that aspect of divine great spirit is shining through us okay and now is the time uh for cultivation okay as we go within and we start um building and creating the spring 
things will blossom and be fruitful like the evergreen tree it represents fruitfulness and fertility okay so this is what the eight of earth is about okay the next card is the moon card the moon card this is so to speak uh the dark side of things like things that have been happening uh this card has many meanings but in this aspect it's talking about the dark side uh things like um imbalance uh, um, hidden enemies hidden enemies bad spirits fear abuse loss of freedom loss of values tears of pain and torture and the thing that comes to mind when i got this card was um the things that are happening in our communities and what's going on in libya uh with the slavery and the uh, sex trafficking that happens you know this is the so-called dark side okay but we have a changeable future okay we have a changeable future this is how it is at this moment but we have a changeable future just like the different phases of the moon you have the new moon up until the full moon which is manifestation so the new moon is the beginning the full moon is manifestation okay but we can recover using magic formulas uh, alchemical formulas okay scientific formulas spiritual formulas okay we are the master magicians of our world we are the creators builders and inventors so therefore we can use these formulas to recover and correct this okay it's gonna take hard work okay so that is what the moon card represents in this reading okay the next card is the ten of water right here ten of water this is our highest potential okay this is the crowning point okay we will have achievements manifestation and abundance okay with hard work okay we have to have unified power unified power with the union of the family okay that's unified power the union of the community okay we will also have spiritual triumph this card represents spiritual triumph uh, balance okay in and out of the water joining forces okay uh you your partner and your offspring uh your creations inventions what you build is prolific it is fruitful okay so it starts spiritually and then in the mind your way of thinking and then applying it in the physical and it will produce fruit 
like the evergreen tree and the evergreen tree is green no matter what season it is no matter what season it is okay so this card is like the manifestation of the family unit and the community being master builders, inventors, and creators, okay? So the next card is the fire element. Now, the fire element, this is the masculine energy. The water element that I mentioned earlier was represented by the feminine energy. So the fire element, you have to keep in mind the fire signs okay the fire signs now the fire element is the everlasting fire okay the everlasting fire the fire it transforms and it clarifies the spirit okay it transforms and clarifies the spirit so, um, one of the names just uh, attributed to God, the Source, Great Spirit, is an all-consuming fire. So, the fire element transforms and clarifies the spirit. Okay. Now, I did have some bonus cards. Uh, I'm going to pull that out second okay now the bonus fire card <laughs> is this card five of fire okay so I mentioned that the all-consuming fire clarifies the spirit and transforms okay but as it does that okay we do have enemies um we do have enemies like i was speaking on the moon card we also have hidden enemies and so with this card you see how they are fighting the dragon okay and it is fire all in the background so uh you have to fight fire with fire now it's different types of fire you have the spiritual fire and then you have physical fire okay you have to um you have to have wisdom it's a time to fight with spiritual fire and it's a time to fight with physical fire, okay? So that is like the physical aspect of it. And this is the spiritual aspect of it, okay? So the all-consuming fire, divine grace spirit is a clarifying spirit. It transforms. It transforms us spiritually, mentally, and physically, okay? right the next card is our spiritual guidance our spiritual guidance and help comes from an orisha okay in different african spirituality you have orishas and you have loas they are similar in this aspect we have the divine messenger which is issue Okay, Issue is Lord of the Crossroads. He has the keys to the doors. He is the messenger. He is the door opener. He is the way maker. Okay? So we can tap into this energy for spiritual guidance as we go within. Okay? As we go within to get guidance. Also, our ancestors. Because this card next to it also represents not only the family here in the physical which is your um, 
your partner, your divine partner, your family, and your community, but also um, your ancestors and your guides. And issue is a spiritual guide, okay? Um, in this spirituality, uh, he is like the mediator, okay? So uh, he is the messenger of divine grace spirit in the ancestors okay so um this is our spiritual guidance okay so if you want to go in depth and look into issue a little more um now yeah, i'll share a short little story um a while ago um a couple of years ago um i had some dreams and the issue energy uh the issue energy uh is like uh similar to papa legba energy eleg elegba okay and in that dream i mean i won't reveal the whole dream but uh this energy was in the dream and there were some keys and this was before I had even tapped into the Orishas and the Loas and Ifa, Yoruba, Santeria, Lukumi, Umbanda. Before I even knew about that spirituality, this energy um, was in my dreams. So um, I can uh, attest to uh, the symbol of having the keys okay you see he's at the crossroads and there is a cat with him the cat represents uh spirituality psychic ability okay and uh this was mentioned with that water element card but it's uh this is our spiritual guidance the issue energy okay so the next one is <clears throat> okay you have obatala which is oshala now you have two aspects here okay you have the father energy and then you have the son energy this is kind of where they get uh the father and the son the jesus character and the different messiah christ characters uh, throughout different uh, spirituality and religious systems okay so you have that father energy and then the son energy okay that's the Christ energy the Christ consciousness that is what it's like and this is the Christ consciousness okay uh, we are the physical image of Obatala, our God, the source of all things. We are the physical image of that energy here on earth. Okay? We are that. And then there is an Orisha or a Loa that represents this energy too in the spiritual realm. Okay? So, um, this card uh, speaks on uh, the spiritual road that we take okay we have to be mindful of the spiritual road that we take we have to go within meditate and communicate with divine grace spirit our ancestors and guides so that we can get that guidance and advice on uh, which path to take which path is good for us okay that we will benefit spiritually, mentally, and physically from, okay? This card represents mental clarity, enlightenment, okay? This is the teacher, the priest, the, uh, the sage, um, the shaman, um, the magi, that type of energy okay it also represents love truth justice and protection from danger okay 
So this is the spiritual element of that card. So you have Obatala, Oshala, and you have Issue for your spiritual guidance. And we are to be the physical image of Divine Grace Spirit, our ancestors, and our guides. And they help us along the way to carry this out in the physical realm. Okay? And right now, this next card is the enslaved prisoner. At some point of our life, we have been an enslaved prisoner, uh, spiritually, mentally, or physically. Okay? But we have the ability to break free. You see how he's uh, trying to break free. Okay? Um, we have been persecuted okay because of um, our, our spirituality our culture uh, our way of life we have been victims of slander okay um, and other things uh, defamation of character things of that nature we've been demonized because of our um, ancestor spirituality and culture whether they have practiced it or we are practicing it in our life or even if we hadn't uh practiced it in our life but just the fact that our ancestors practice this and enemy invaders have demonized our ancestor spirituality and culture so we this generation we are breaking free of that this is the time this is the age where we are breaking free from the invaders forced religions and culture and we are going back home to our ancestor spirituality and culture and practices and taking it to the next level we are breaking free okay we are breaking free we are freeing self and we have the spiritual guidance to help us okay and our families our divine partners our community okay our groups okay All right and the next card in the middle is the nine of earth okay now the nine of earth Okay, now, this card is, okay, you see her. She's in the middle of the field, and she's planting seeds. She's in solitude. She's alone, and she's planting seeds. Now, this goes with, you know, the water element, how we are in the spiritual womb, and we are gestating, we are growing, we are maturing, and even uh, things that we are doing, uh, our spiritual work, our mental work, uh, and physical work, it will soon uh, blossom and manifest and be fruitful like the evergreen tree. But you see her, how she's planting those seeds, okay? This is the time where we plant the seeds, and then in the spring, uh, we start seeing uh, things birth forth okay fruitfulness okay uh your personal harvest what you sow now okay you will have a harvest okay and what you have to do is while you're doing this you can seek advice from divine grace spirit ancestors guides elders uh because they have wisdom okay of the mysteries from the earth because they have been here before okay they're a part of the earth so uh they have the mysteries and the secrets of the earth and how things work mm -hmm. so with their guidance we will be successful and have plentiful fruitful harvests okay so this happens spiritually, mentally, and physically, okay? 
our inner work reflects in our outer work okay so what you sow okay um there's another card okay this was the other bonus card because these two cards popped out after i did this reading okay during during me doing this reading okay and i'm gonna put this right here beside her and it's just saying that sometimes, okay, as you're beginning to sow seeds, like she's sowing seeds, okay, sometimes what you sow first will not always grow the fastest, the, um, nor be the safest, the tallest, the biggest, or the strongest, okay? We have to use wisdom. Uh, and get guidance from great spirit or ancestors guides okay um, and you know our people in our our group our family our community okay because they also have wisdom especially if they've been doing uh, inner work or the mental work or the physical work and you see the fruits of their labor you can ask them for advice Okay, and you can apply some of those principles to your life so that you can be fruitful and multiply and have your own abundant harvest. Okay, and when you do have a harvest, keep in mind you have to share with your, your family, your community. You have to share. You cannot be greedy and a hoarder. Okay? So, even though we have struggles, okay? And we have to sometimes fight fire with fire. Okay? Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Um... We will come out on top, okay? And I wanted to go back to this card right here. Okay, now this card, um, I wanted to go in depth a little bit more about this one, okay? Um, after fighting with this, because we're going to be fighting you know spiritually mentally and physically within ourselves we have battles within and on the outside uh with other things other things or people or spirits things of that nature okay um you have to uh choose your weapons wisely you have to be clever uh, you have to be astute. You have to have strategy, uh, efficient defense, okay? Okay? But you cannot let this beast consume you in its fire, okay? The only fire you want to be a part of is the fire of divine great spirit that is within you, okay? That is the only fire that you can fight this fire with, okay? So, uh, get guidance, okay? And choose your weapons wisely, okay? Strategies on how to uh, fight uh, different obstacles, okay? Um, different obstacles, different struggles, uh, things of that nature, okay? your tactics all right you gotta have a playbook okay to fight the enemy whoever the enemy is and you cannot let the enemy consume you or corrupt you okay because you have guidance you have guidance from Obatala that's just um, an example of divine grace spirit and you also have issue okay you have your ancestors and your guides you have your community your family 
okay? To help you fight in whatever battle you're facing. Some battles, yes, you have to fight alone, okay? Alone like this one. And then some, you will have help physical other physical help and spiritual help okay so that is the reading this taps into what we are um experiencing or what we uh may ex experience during this introspection meditation hibernation time during the winter solstice um healing self dealing with self okay so that we can plant those seeds and receive an abundance uh fruitful harvest okay so i want to say peace i love you namaste ashe